Technological evolution is entering mines, transforming them into safer places and reducing the impact on the environment using drones and autonomous vehicles driven remotely via 5G networks. A high-tech revolution is shaping the mining industry of tomorrow. Since Europe needs to unlock new mineral reserves and secure the supply of raw materials, new technologies and procedures have to be implemented. A European research project is leading this modernization process by adapting existing devices to the mining sector. It's about using drones, for instance, in the mines, not having to have people in, in possibly dangerous locations. It's about using electric vehicles in the mines instead of diesel, meaning that we don't emit so much carbon dioxide, so greenhouse gas emissions. It's about increasing degree, degree of automation, meaning that we can have operations running at full speed and without so much human interactions. Reducing the time needed for mining and creating safer working conditions are among the goals of the SIMS project, and drones can be a precious ally for both goals. They can be sent to explore tunnels without any risks to humans. Onboard instruments enable a remote operator to receive information about the rock formation and stability of tunnels immediately after they've been blasted. The drone has several sensors on board which are looking for surroundings, searching where is the tunnel and following the tunnel shape and the camera for recording the visual information, what is going on plus also a lot of uh, light to be able to see in a completely dark environment. The backbone of this mining revolution is a 5G connection that's available throughout the mine thanks to these special transmitters. Because of its high speed and excellent performance, 5G will enable reliable control of autonomous machines by operators working from a remote surface location. We want to be able to take what we have above ground uh, the cellular connectivity in your mobile phone that you have every day and not only for simple communication like voice between human beings and, and simple web browsing. We want to have this also for remote controlled heavy machinery and connected sensors. You need to have something that is really reliable. It has to be low latency and you need the feedback to be in real time. The University of Luleå in Sweden has also developed a virtual reality simulator, allowing you to walk through a mine, interacting with the environment and machines designed by the project creators. This will help develop a deeper, fuller knowledge of tomorrow's mine. The VR environment is mainly valuable, as I see it now, in tourism. It's education and operator training. And the largest benefit will be the wider society learning. Because you can have the mine coming to people where people cannot go into the mine. So this is more for the operators to understand what is happening, the different sequences down in a mine. Due to growing demand for minerals and metals that are essential to our everyday life, the mining sector is going to be increasing its production. But the mine of the future is expected to minimize the environmental impact of this activity.